What's up, YouTube? Man, I, I woke up today with uh, teaching on my heart, man. God was just giving me stuff. He gives me stuff, trying to get me out of bed early. He keeps talking, and I just be like, man, I got to get up. <laughs> and I, I usually teach out of because I, I'm supposed to, because I'm called to. It's like a job for me, but today is kind of different. It's like, man, it kind of feels kind of cool. <laughs> but John 15, I'm... I got to get some books going today. But uh, John 15, 7, this caught me in it yesterday too. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, Jesus is all red letters, the whole chapter thing. You shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. Um, that's abiding. When we're born again, when we're resisting sin, the darkness, the devil. And that means righteousness and holiness is being poured on us. We actually have a fence around us of righteousness. He said, abide in me. We're abiding in him. We're not breaking away into sin. If we do that, there's repentance. But you will suffer. He's talking about this spiritual fruit. You won't have any fruit. Your fruit will be rotted, falling to the ground. And the devil will be laughing at you. That's what Jesus is talking about. But he said, if, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what ye will and it shall be done to you. God will answer any prayers we ask Him. So much as it's in the, His will, I'm sure. But He said here, Ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. That is the power of staying connected to the Spirit of God in a mindset, because we can sin with our mind. You know, so you don't want to do that stuff. Here it is, my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. Okay. Again, Jesus is always talking in third person. If you pick up what the prophet said, what Jesus himself said, he is the Father. It doesn't matter. He's showing the dialogue between a son and the Heavenly Father. These are examples. Okay. But um, And he was in his body, a created body, by the Father, which was his spirit. Don't get it confused. Okay. It's just a dialogue he's, he's sharing. But it's him. He is the everlasting father. Or Isaiah and Jer Zechariah is a liar. And Hosea and all the prophets. See, baloney. The Trinity is the lie. <laughs> the Bible proves it. Verse 9. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue in my love. If you keep my commandments. See, he's telling you right there he's the Father. If you keep my commandments. I thought they were the Father's commandments, Jesus. See? It's easy to see it. But if you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. Joy. Boy, I, you know I need joy, Jesus. God. All the battles and all the, the junk we got to deal with on a daily basis. Man, it, it's so depletive. But his joy, it's its a reoccurring thing. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. These things have I spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you, that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. <laughs> hey, Jesus is one side in his friendship, but you know what? That's okay, because he's God. And he blesses his friends, us. <laughs> ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth. I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends. And what's the next step after friends? Sons, daughters. Okay? So it's servant, it goes from servants to friends to sons, because they weren't born again yet. Do you understand? They were just believers. They weren't born again yet. What did Jesus say about believers in Mark 16? Pop quiz. They shall speak with new tongues. What was he saying? They're going to be filled with my spirit. And when my spirit comes into somebody, they start talking in tongues like a Chinese laundry, my pastor would say. <laughs> All 
All right. Henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. He's revealing the invisible spirit. Gradually, they're picking up that it's him. Jehovah in the flesh. John 14, 9. How long have you been with me, Philip? You don't know me, Philip. He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. Why do you keep saying, show us the Father, Philip? Pop quiz. Jesus put him right on the spot. <gasps> Philip Hunter said, this is Jehovah. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. Yay, you understand the mystery. Congratulations, Philip. Verse 16, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. The fruit is winning souls, folks. Getting them baptized in Jesus' name. Getting them filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost, talking in tongues. Causing what God has given you in revelatory knowledge, in Bible knowledge, to give it to somebody so they can have eternal life. This is the whole point of all of this. So we can all go to heaven together. Wake up. It's not about money like the the, the lion preachers on, on most of the TV. The, the money mongering garbage preachers they want money to go get a freaking job Quit ripping people off but to be fair to them the gospel is you are to give tithes to preachers teachers uh, ministry they're supposed to live off it but they're supposed to be giving you the gospel and that's not happening these days they're just taking your money and not giving you nothing you don't know who God is. You're not born again. You're not ready to go when you die. But they're happy to take your money and lie to you. Half of them don't know they're lying. They're just, they just never got the revelation. Or they were taught wrong. There's all kinds of reasons. Satan's a scumbag. And he, he lies and rips people off and kills them. John 10.10 10, Steals, kills, and destroys. The destroying part is the part when you get thrown into the lake of fire because you didn't know God, preacher. That's why God sends people like Ron to wake you up. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying, Jesus. I'm trying. You have not chosen me, but I've chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit, that your fruit should remain. Whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Why did Jesus say... That whatsoever you ask of the Father in my name. Because <laughs> he's telling you he's the Father. Without telling you he's the Father. He didn't, he didn't say uh, 1,000 times, I'm the Father, Philip, in the Bible. I'm the Father, Philip. But he showed you through his words that he is the Father. He only said it one or two times that he was the Father. One time he, he was uh, uh, evangelizing and, and he goes, daughter. He was addressing some Jewish woman. He said, daughter. And then he, he went into his discourse, uh, teaching, preaching, uh, miracles. If you don't see miracles, you don't need to be at a church. They don't have no prayer. They don't have the Holy Ghost moving. You need to move on. Just like a cow would move on on, on a dry pasture with no water. No grass. Why why you give people give people all these rip off artists your money? And you ain't got no Holy Ghost, you don't get healed when you need healing. They don't have prayer. They don't have worship. Most churches don't have worship. A lot of them got pseudo and fake. And uh Paul said, I tried them. Say they're apostles and they're not. I found them liars. I went to this one church my family was going to. And uh the head pastor was up there. Controlling spirits. That's what the Holy Ghost showed me. I tried to worship. I would shout worship. There's, they're like, oh, it's okay if somebody shouts during Amazing Grace. There, It was a control scenario. It was uh, satanic. It was, uh, uh, what are the words I'm looking for, Jesus? 
it, it was just, it was garbage. There's churches that will control you. They don't want you worshiping God. They think it's out of order. See? Control freaks. But he was, oh, he was in the pockets, boy. He he was reaching heavy, deep. Give me your money. Oh, you give me your money. That's what they're about. They're not about the gospel. They're about the baloney. To rip you off and throw you in the lake of fire where they're going. John 10.10. 10, they, because they're ministers of Satan. That Paul talked about in the epistles. Transforming themselves to be ministers of light. Yeah. Baloney. When you got the real Holy Ghost, you'll see it. And they won't fool you. John said, the anointing that abides in you, you need not that any man teach you, because the anointing that abides in you teaches you all things. You need not any man teach you. And he'll show you the mysteries too. Because it's Christ in you, the hope of glory, the Holy Ghost, Jesus Christ himself. How do you receive Christ? If he's just a man, the son, 